Ladies and gentlemen, this right here is the first ever working gravity gun on planet Earth. Probably. It can float stuff, which is pretty cool, but I'll show you all that later, so make sure to stick around. But first, let's take it back to when it all started. I wonder if this could remove a butt plug. The first step in building anything is research. So I went ahead and did some research on how Hoplash Gravity Gun works. Something about a Zen crystal and negative matter, but we don't need to know that right now. All we need to do is pull something over a certain distance and have it be held. And I know the perfect solution. Ready to hear it? Magnets. We can place an electromagnet inside of the gravity gun and attach another magnet to another object. The object would have to be small and super light on weight, of course. Then simply turn on the electromagnet which would pull in the other magnet as well as the object it is attached to. It might not be able to pull in objects from very far but hey it's worth a try. Then after that all we gotta do is upload to YouTube with the clickbait thumbnail, become a big YouTuber, make bang, get cancelled, upload a generic apology video with the thumbnail being me staring into the camera, pick a two month vacation till it never be everyone forgets what I did, then go back to make it bang. Alright, let's do it. Alright, so turns out magnets are not gonna work. I overestimated the distance that magnets can attract each other, but in a way, this was to be expected. I wasn't really expecting it to attract the magnet from a crazy distance, but I thought that maybe if I made the electromagnet big enough, it would attract a distance that would kinda look cool. But whatever, it's fine. Let's just move on. We need to find another way, so let's do some more research. Ladies and gentlemen, I have found the solution to all of our problems. I introduce to you acoustic levitation. With this technology, we can levitate any small object, including liquids. And the best thing is, anyone can harness the power of acoustic levitation in their own home. So, let's put this newly gained knowledge to the test and start making our gravity gun. Alright, step one is to make the base of the gravity gun. I decided to use cardboard because I had a lot lying around and because it's pretty easy to work with. So, let's get straight to work. Okay, so I'm not even halfway done and it looks horrible. You can see the glue all over the outside, the individual pieces of cardboard make it look even more messy. One side is bigger than the other and the handle is just messed up. Oh well, <sighs> good thing I already made it. Now that we have our gravity gun completed, I guess it's time for me to explain to you how it works. I have to admit, I don't know much about it, but I'll do my best to try and explain. Right here you can see the acoustic levitator I was talking about, and on the inside you can see these little black things. Those are electrical components called transducers. They emit sound at a certain frequency and create what's called a standing wave. A standing wave is just a wave that is formed by a combination of two other waves. Wait! I won't explain to you how it works anymore, alright? All you need to know is that it uses sound to float things. Okay, I guess we're at that part of the video where I show you the clips I've been saving to the very end in an attempt to get you to watch all the way through the video. Like I said before, it can float any small object and even multiple objects at the same time. Also, there's a big hole in the bottom because I tried to make a slingshot type mechanism that could project the floating objects, but it broke. And that's really all there is to say. I mean, it's just a DIY kit attached to some cardboard. There's nothing really else to say. I guess the only thing left to do is to use it to remove this butt plug.